Hey, what's going on with y'all? Fellas, ladies, what's good? What's good with all y'all? Appreciate every one of y'all, man. As you can see, we just hit 1K subscribers, man. I got 1,000 plus, you know what I'm saying? Just like yesterday or something like that. You know, uh, obviously, I'm sorry that I didn't make a video sooner just to, you know, at least acknowledge y'all and say what's up. Most of the time, these videos really don't get that much attention, so I don't make them because it's, it's like hit or miss. No one really gives a fuck. Nigga, congratulations. Nah. But I appreciate, you know, all y'all for real. I made it to a thousand of subscribers, man. Sorry, a little bit of earthquake in this part of town. You know, this laundry, <laughs> my little setup sucks right here. But, you know, that's where I got to do it right now. So, uh, got to take a toast for that, man. As you see, I was making a video before I already took a sip of this shit. I'm sorry I didn't, I didn't crack it for y'all to start. Code 45, you know, I ain't got no two, I ain't got no zigzags, though. But I do got a cigarette. You know, unfortunately, I ain't going to have no weed till the weekend. I'm glad I made it here, man. Like, even when you look back at this shit, like, damn, this is a minute to get to a thousand subscribers, but it didn't take that long, man. It took like five months, man. Five months of just dedication to this shit. I never let myself be like, you know what, man, this shit's going too slow. I just kept doing it. I'm an idiot. Um, I could have already had like million, like probably like who knows how many thousand subscribers a long time ago when it was easy to do that shit on YouTube. When it was easy, hard to get partnership, but it was easy to get. Uh, you know, thousands of subscribers back in the day, especially with the way I do my shit. Like, I could have been up to the top. I had 135 subscribers in a day. And my dumb ass was like this. No, I'm not, but one, in one day, 135, I was like, man, this ain't moving fast enough, man. So I stopped doing it. That's how I used to be when I was younger. I, I, if it wasn't moving fast enough for me, I just stopped and gave up. You know how many projects I done gave up? I, I built a website. Trueflows.com. It could have been something good if I really kept my mind to it. I worked, dedicated myself to, I used to work for a day straight, man, 18 hours and shit like that. I wasn't working at the time. I, I, I didn't, I just uh, got laid off my job. I dedicated myself to that website. That was back in 2012 and it was a great idea. I had fantastic ideas, but I, I couldn't keep with it because I didn't, I couldn't surpass one part. I didn't know how to make the, the coding for a chat log. It was hard to do that. And I just, and then I figured it out eventually. I actually figured it out. It took me days to figure it out, but I did. And when I did, I was just like, man, um, no one, this site's not getting any traffic. And I didn't try hard enough, so I stopped. I made business cards, like 500 business cards. I passed out like 10 of them. See, that's what I was my problem right there, man. Like not being the proper motivation. I had the great ideas, but taking your ideas and turning them into something big, man, is, is, is harder than... The things you be thinking about doing. We can all think of great ideas, but we got to actually work at them. You understand what I'm saying? We all got to do that. Hey, I apologize for the cigarette right now, but I'm, smoking, I'm drinking a nasty-ass beer, so please forgive me. You know what I'm saying? I know I said I was going to quit a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all, too. Y'all be looking out like, yo, man, stop smoking cigarettes, dog. I'm like, yo, I love that shit. You know, because it lets me know y'all looking out. And you know this channel's free, right? You know that shit. And that's the, that's the thing. I don't go on here like trying to shove down you to, to donate to me and none of that shit. No, I can handle my shit as a man myself. Eventually, um, monetization and shit like that. As far as my videos get monetized and shit like that, that's right now. Right now, that's not happening. As you know, for any future uh, YouTubers out there, people who are YouTubing right now, there's a hold on that right now. It's a backlog until like the end of April is what it says. What's funny about that shit though is that 500 subscribers ago. When I was held, the requirement is a thousand subs and four thousand watch hours. I got six thousand at least of watch hours, and over a thousand subs now. So I, I hit the qualification. I get there, and it tells me that you can't get it yet. It told me that shit five hundred subs ago. But I think they're trying to change it. It might be a better thing. Hey, it might start paying more people money. They might not. They might just start shutting channels down. I heard they're trying to really not pay people to do this shit. But you know what? If you go out here chasing that dollar, man, you're trying to make you know you really hoping for that shit and you get disappointed at the end, man. When you find out that it don't happen, it's going to make you hurt. You can't only be after the money, man. Do it for fun. Do it for free. And eventually, they'll come to you. The money will land. It will fall from the sky. Somewhat. You still have to work hard for what you get, though. You got you to work hard. You can't give up. You got to keep going. You got to be strong. Don't overthink things. Be humble. Don't always start thinking that you're better than what you actually are. Because when you do that, you're going to cause yourself to, to go downhill. Start getting cocky, thinking you're better. 
man, look at me, man. I got all these subs. Everyone loves me. And then you start making videos that are half-ass bullshit because you think you're better than what you think you are now. You don't got to say nothing now because you start getting cocky. Always stay humble. That's the best advice I can give anybody out there who's doing things like this. I did this. When I first did this shit, I never was like, I'm doing this for the money. I'm doing this to get monetized. I'm doing this for ads, ad revenue. No, I'm doing this because it was it was things I needed to help through my life diary, sharing all my experiences and helping y'all with your experiences that you're dealing with, whether they're negative or positive, and just trying to give you a better insight on how you can fix those things that are holding you back at the moment. That was my goal. And talking about all the all the shit that I went through, the psychological harassment that I endured, and I couldn't even make YouTube. I was off of here for a minute because of that. Um, I just wanted to come back and reach out to y'all, let you know how I was doing. And I know that I can reach out to other people who were dealing with the same problems I was and make them feel a little bit better about their situation because you're not the only one. Remember that. It's fantastic, man. You know, as you guys know, I always reply back to 95% of your comments. If I don't reply back right away, I'll reply back to at least one or two of them. You guys write me long comments, I respond back to them the best I can. Sometimes I'll be on, I used to be lazy a little bit. Y'all be writing these long copy kid comments to be like two pages, man. Epic comments, man. Like intelligent people that I have. That's the kind of subscribers I have. Very intelligent people. I, I love all y'all. Y'all motherfuckers is even as some some people who subscribe to me are just they don't even really like me. There's a couple people, maybe like one or two. I'm pretty sure of that. But you know what? They don't hate. They're the proper, they do the proper uh criticism. I have to understand that and take that. When they say things to me, sometimes it's just not right. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. I had people say some hurtful things that I wouldn't even mad at them because it was so intelligent how they said it. You can't even get mad at that shit. I don't delete your comment, none of that stuff. Unless you keep spamming on comments of videos that have nothing to do with shit. Like somebody will write on a video uh, about like weed anxiety and you're bringing up meth. Like don't, don't do that because then you're, you're clearly being an asshole. Like just write that on the meth video, cocksucker. Ain't nobody smoking meth around here. Look at me. I've been I've been maintaining this weight for a minute, man. You know what I'm saying? It, like big ups to that. Pat myself on the back. I'm not gonna say I ain't party before within the uh, seven or five six months that I've been off of that shit. But do I? I'm, that's not something that's holding me back, man. You know what I'm saying? Like fuck that. I just stick with hey, Mary Jane, man. It's all about the green. Fuck all that crazy shit. You need to keep a clear mind, especially when you're dealing with that harassment shit. Don't make it any better for yourself. Uh, out of all the malt liquors, <clears throat> if I had to choose one, I'd go with that Colt 45. It tastes the most like a regular beer, man. Every other one tastes like shit. You ever had a, like a, uh, what is it, I, uh, Ice House Edge? Fuck, it's nasty. That 8.0 alcohol, that motherfucker is nasty. It's like drinking 211. It's high gravity. High gravity, you'll ask me. We're going up, high gravity. <laughs> you're talking big shit, thinking you, your, your heart, you, you like this small, really, but then you think you a giant talking mad shit, huh? You ask me, laid out there and wake up with that, that epic headache in the morning and shit, thinking you a big shot. You might get shot big time. It happened, man. We just gotta be all be humble with each other, you know what I'm saying? Just don't chase after the, the, the almighty dollar, man. Just do what you do because you love it. Um, I love doing what I'm doing and people told me that I helped them out tremendously. They said I helped them change their life even. That makes me happy. It makes me wake up in the morning. I don't need a fucking dollar to know that that's happening. You know what I'm saying? That's fantastic. What else I want to wrap with y'all about? Honestly, I just probably want to finish this beer and just like wrap it up. I just wanted to really thank y'all for the 10,000. I mean, for the 1,000 subs, you know. Maybe in the future I have 10,000. It's been a long journey. I'm looking at my first video I made when I got back here. The first video I thought I made when I came back because I left Arizona. I had to move away from there because for obvious reasons. I miss it out there a lot. I think about Arizona a lot. <laughs> I sit back. I'm just like, man, I miss it out there, man. I fucking hate where I'm at now. You know, but you know what, though? It don't matter. I just made a video recently about uh, hotel maids and shit like that. 
Yeah, I'm looking back all these months, man. Four months. I'm scrolling down. Four months. Made like at least like probably like 70 videos at least since then. First video when I started doing this shit for good was uh, it was the harassment telling my story. That was the first video I did five months ago. So it was five months. And then panic attacks and then, you know, smoking a blunt. I used to smoke, I used to smoke weed in my videos and shit. Withdrawal from meth, you know, gang stalking, a lot of that, a lot of anxiety videos. I quit doing that for a while. I started telling stories about like, past things. And people like the stories, so I appreciate y'all, man. I love the support. All the thumbs up are greatly appreciated, man. Couldn't be, you know. I dropped the Craigslist video not that long ago because, you know, they shut down Craigslist to classify personal ads. Oh, <laughs> nah, they just shut that shit down. It's kind of weird. It's kind of funny, but <clears throat> I was notified about that to a friend. And that was shut down. You know what I'm saying? But I get, I get the comments I get on that video are funny as hell. People be saying some off the wall. Everyone keeps talking about sexual encounters on there, though. Like, that wasn't even what I was talking about. I didn't even mention that in the video. Somebody was like, oh, you say that, uh, Hookers are not hard workers. I didn't even say that in the video. What video was you watching, motherfucker? Because I did not say that in that video. I tell you, boy. Some people be saying shit. They're not even saying things that belong in the video, man. Messaging me on other videos about shit that ain't got nothing to do with the video, man. Suck a dick. But you know what? Like I said before, I'm willing to take constructive criticism. I'm willing to take a criticism from anybody, whether it's good or bad. I appreciate all y'all, for real. No one ever says anything to me to make me upset, really, to really piss me off. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get, when you get, the more views you get, you're going to get people who are going to say shit. <clears throat> My favorite kind of comments are when people like, I got some videos that got popular. Somebody be like, somebody was like, this guy, this guy looks like this guy. I was like, oh, yeah, this shit made me laugh because I'm like, this guy, meaning that he, the video has so many views and so many comments that he don't think he's going to get a response from me by saying that shit. But you fooled yourself. I'll respond. That video got 30,000 views almost, man. I still respond to motherfuckers on that shit. Like, yo, I know this video's old and everything. Hey, what's up, dog? What's good? good? I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? I got the phone right there. I got the notification. Boop. Pop up. See? What's up? What's good? <laughs> I got to clean the floor. I just was ashing uh, cigarettes on the floor. Just there. <laughs> I'm going to sweep it up, though, man. <sighs> Cheers, man. I'm going to get rid of the last part of this beer, man. I've been looking for a job still, man. You know, I've been doing some side work, you know, like to keep my money going and shit like that. But right now it's been real hard, man, where I'm at, man. I'm out here in the country, man, like stuck in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing around me. I've been looking for jobs and shit like that. I got the whip, you know, I can drive around and go, but can't find shit right now. Dogs out there making noise. I'm going to end this video out here soon. <clears throat> I can't believe I actually finished this shit. It's only been an hour since I bought this shit. To me, it was like an epic four hours to finish a beer, man. I don't like to drink that much, but right now, you know what? I'm happy, man. I feel good. I feel good, man. Thanks to y'all. For real, for real. Couldn't have did it without y'all. Thousand subs, man. I swear, dog. Like five, five months ago, I was like, I was like, damn, man, it's going to take forever. I made it, dog. I fucking made it. I didn't stop. I didn't stop for once in my life. I could have been something big back in the day because of my impatience. Like, I didn't make it. But you know what? Being impatient, I learned from that. As I got older, I learned to just take things slow. If you see it going in the right direction, keep at it, man. If it's going in a positive direction, you have to keep going at it. You can't stop. You can't. That's like throwing a football. You throw that motherfucker, you see you see that dude, oh, yo, yo, I'm over here, dog. You throw the football, and then the football just stops and comes back. Nah, that's not going to happen. So why the fuck would I do that with my life? Gravity don't work that way. Oh, damn. That last part is always fucking gross. <laughs> anyway, y'all take it easy out there. Y'all be safe, man. I got more coming for y'all, man. I'm thinking of some new ideas. I'm trying to tackle newer subjects, man. You know, because it's kind of a news channel, basically. Just reporting the news. 
things that happened to myself, news that I'm actually involved in and y'all can relate to, things that are happening in our daily lives. Y'all gonna be all right, man. Trust me. I'm gonna be all right, too. Of course, man. Make sure to keep liking and subscribing, man. It's definitely appreciated. Y'all take it easy out there. Peace.